Hurry, you know, because I've got to get this finished before Mrs. Gibson comes back. I really, your garden looks nice, doesn't it? I do. Oh, very nostalgical. Is Alice coming on nicely, too? Because I've only got to make a shelter and some crazy paths after I've finished this, and the well, whole thing will look pretty good, I think, don't you? Mm. Well, you know, Claude, I think you need a few lessons in gardening, if I may say so. Do I? As a matter of fact, I haven't thought of that. Because uh, the trouble is, I don't know any really good gardening expert. Well, that may be. But you know, you'd be surprised what you could get out of your garden if you set about it properly. Oh, I'm doing that already. Yes, I've dug up all sorts of these. Here's an old mother kettle I've like got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this morning I dug up an old horse. Dug up what? A horse? <laughs> yeah, a clothes horse. Oh. A jolly good one. It was brown here, son. Yes. <laughs> Jolly good thing, though. That is a whole lot of clothes. The thing of that. Just look at the extent of it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You've got to be careful with these things, haven't you? Yes, the whole... Uh, but it's a very, very good thing. I think you'll get it. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Could you do something about this? It's just... Uh, it's got plenty. It's, it's, it's very dangerous, you know. You don't get the thing. Yes, I think we'd better take the whole thing away. That's better. Of course. I should probably dig up a lot more things before I've finished, yes. Yes, I expect you will. And when you've dug them up, what are you going to do with them? Oh, will bury them again somewhere. <laughs> See, I was just wondering, uh, have you got any room in your garden? No, I haven't. No, well, uh, uh-huh. Where's my hat? That's right, look, mixed huh? up with your clothes horse. So. Oh, yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's too well, yeah. Why don't you try to grow some nice vegetables in this garden? You could. You've got plenty of vacant space there. Yes, we have, haven't we? As I was saying to Mrs. Gibson. Now, look here, Claude. Uh, you come over and have a look at my garden. Yes, I would be delighted, rather. Look here. I've just been gathering nice fresh Brussels sprouts. Oh, yes. I've got leeks for the winter, uh -huh. cabbages coming on for the spring, mm -hmm. beetroots, parsnips, onions. Mm. There's always something good coming along. Okay. If I were you, I should uh, dig up all those stones mm. and bricks and make a path with them or yeah. a dugout or something. And then, why don't you rake together all that rubbish and dead leaves and stuff and put them all on your compost heap? Yeah. My what? Compost heap. Don't you know what a compost heap is? This is a compost heap. Oh, I see. You see, Claude, in these days of motor cars, we can't get that good old-fashioned country manure. Oh, my word. <laughs> Quite so. And what we do is to get together all the rubbish and dead leaves into a yeah. heap and collect them bit by bit and let them I all see. rot down yeah. into yeah. a nice juicy mass of manure for the beds. Uh, for my beds? Yes. But uh, is that necessary? I mean, I always use a hot water bottle. <laughs> I mean, what? your garden beds I'm talking about. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes, well, that's, that's finished there, hasn't it? You know, <laughs> talking about this compost heap, there's all sorts of things you could put on that heap. Yes, I suppose. Yeah. Egg shells and tea mm. leaves, orange mm. peel, any waste stuff. It all makes good fertilizer for your garden. Really? Do you know, I, I always thought rubbish was a lot of rubbish. <laughs> but it is. It's very useful, isn't it? Sometimes. I see. Yes. Look here. This would do well for the compost heap. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Have you got a handkerchief? You no, know, I haven't. You know, well, I mean, that. Uh, do you know that Brussels sprouts and green vegetables are jolly good for you? They keep you fit. As good as a dose of medicine for you. Did you know that? No, oh, well, I, well, I haven't lived in these parts very long, you know. Uh, when I had a flat in Brixton, you know, the people on the third floor... Do you know anything about carbohydrates? No, I'm afraid I don't. But I expect I've seen her hundreds of times. <laughs> Mrs. Gibson and I are very fond of going to the pictures, you know. 
I, well, we always go early because so we can, you know, get out and put ourselves in the right places. Just so what I thought. You know nothing about them. Carbohydrates oh. are the things which keep you fit and well. You know, they're things you get from greens and other vegetables. Good gracious, I didn't know that. They make you grow strong and handsome. You oh. ought to take them with every meal. Yes, it would. And, and of uh, course, you know all about the proteins, don't you? The, the proteins? No. No, but I believe anything you tell me about the people around here, you know. Are they newly married? Claude, you? you're hopeless. Proteins are not people. Uh, They're oh. the things that make your bones grow strong. Oh, I... <laughs> Good gracious, yes, that bone I had just now must have eaten a lot of them, mustn't it? <laughs> yeah, the things uh, you get from peas and beans mm. and other vegetables. Mm, peas as well? Do you really think I could get all those things out of the garden for Mrs. Gibson? Well, of course you could, quite well, easily. Yes. Why, bless me, that garden's full of nourishment. Uh, oh, I don't know. Most of the tins are empty, you know. Tins? I'm not talking about tins. I'm talking oh. about the garden soil. Oh, I see what the you vegetables mean. vegetables you could grow mm. in it. Do you know the vegetables are full of vitamins and good things? Good gracious, fancy you all that coming out of the ground, sir. I should never have known if you hadn't told me, should I? Another thing you want is to start off by making a nice cropping plan. Oh, yes, we ought to have a plan, and so I agree. Well, I tell you what, come round into my garden and I'll show you what I That's mean. It's a grand idea, I said. We will as well. What we want to do is to plan out the garden so that the vegetables don't all get mixed up together. Yeah. Get the early crops together and the late ones together. Yeah. See, start with early ones. Mm -hmm. Turnips, carrots, lettuces, mm -hmm. beetroot, peas, yes, beans. Excuse me, just a minute. Just to, you know, I... Uh, don't you think it'd be better if I made a list or something? Just as you like. Yes, I want to. Have you got a pencil on you, then? Yes. You because I don't want to mess this up. A, a, a piece of paper? Well, it might be a bit in my coat pocket. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, certainly. I may as well put it on. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, he has a board. Oh, that's just the very thing. Yes, oh, that's grand. Now, I don't want to make any mistakes about this. Now, what was it? Uh, carrots. Carrots. Turnips. Turnips. Oh, and a lot of other things. Uh, and a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, fine. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, more than that. Oh, oh wait a minute. For half a second. Now, where was I? Uh, yes. Lettuces. Lettuces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lettuces, yes. Radishes? Radish. Oh, I like those. <laughs> yes. I would. Beans? Uh, beans, yes. Well, now, let's see. How far have you got? Uh, well, now, let me see. Uh, where did I start? <laughs> I can't see the... Uh, here we are. Uh, uh, carrots. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, turnips. Yes. Oh, I know what we've forgotten. That heap. Oh, yes, compost. Yes, oh, I was putting that oh, yes. down, remember. <laughs> that must be a smelly business to make, I should think. Oh, I don't know. Yes, talking of smells, have you noticed it's not a very nice smell here, is it? Oh, <laughs> just a nice country smell. Hmm? I don't know, I've noticed it a long time. It's a terrible smell of broken glass, it seems like. Do you never wonder what it... Oh, <laughs> oh good gracious, I've been sitting on the heat. No wonder. Oh, <laughs> good gracious me, I must be in a mess. Wait a minute. Uh, have you got a handkerchief? Uh, no, I haven't. Let's uh, have what? a handkerchief. Is it all oh, right? That's nothing. I thought I felt a bit damp, you know. <laughs> oh, I suppose it'll dry yes, out. Yes. Right. Well, now, how long ought it to take me before I get all this fixed up? Well, if you put your back into it, uh, you'll get it all nice and ship shape within three weeks. Three weeks? Yes. Oh, my word, that's splendid. Yes. I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> told you once uh, hundreds of men have turned vacant bits of land into nice gardens, don't you? Hundreds? Yeah. I did this all by myself. Well, it does you credit. Yes, well, Mrs. Gibson's awfully pleased about it, you know. Yes, well, I'm sure she would be. Looks very, very nice indeed. Oh, I guess you like it, yes. But I say, <sighs> what's that heap of junk there? This? Yeah. Oh, that's my compost heap. <laughs> <laughs> don't you remember? If we agreed on that, that's very important, you know. Yes, <laughs> very. Mm -hmm. What's he doing there? Uh, oh, rotting. 
Rot? Yes. But he'd take it some time to rot down into manure there, wouldn't it? No. Oh, I think so. What? I shouldn't know. It seems to me. Oh. <laughs> yes, oh, it's rotting already. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. But what's it doing there? The, well, I uh, just got the idea to make a sort of nice centerpiece. But it spoils the whole of your beautiful work. You can't it's leave it there. Nothing can come up with that stuck in the middle of your garden. Well, as a matter of fact, nothing has come up yet. Oh, never mind. There's plenty of time for that. It'll come up all right. Well, I'm glad I was getting a bit scared, you know. I'll tell you what. Paul, uh, come round and have a look at my greenhouse and see my vegetables. Oh, I'd love to. My, well, can I come like this? Because well, I've got the trousers to this, uh, but I, I can't get the, my boots off. I told you, you know. Oh, never so mind your boots and your trousers. Well, come on. You don't mind. I'd <laughs> love to. Yeah. Can I come in? Of course. That's what I want you yes, to do. Thanks very much. Oh, my word, yes. And my boots. Wonderful, you know. Mrs. Gibson would like one of these. It's just the thing for her chickens. Good faces. And it's so well made, too, isn't it? It looks a very good wood. It looks like mahogany. Never mind the wood. Come and look at my plants. <laughs> Yes, what do you think of that for a nice healthy lot? Oh, they're good, aren't they? Yes, yes. Very good. I suppose that will turn into rhubarb sooner or later. Rhubarb? Yes. That's all my spring seedlings for sowing in the spring out of doors. Oh, I beg pardon. I see. Yes. Oh, I've got a lot of nice things along here already. I bet you have. You? Yes. Here's something you'd never guess the name of. Yes. Oh, I know that. Yes. Uh, mustard and cress. I thought yes, you I know that. Try and remember the name. Echivira. Uh, oh, yes. I so tries mixing it up, yes. I ought to have known that. That's what Mrs. Gibson used to call her cow, you know. <laughs> well, have a look at this. Here's a funny yes. looking pig. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you get it in your neck in a minute? Oh, Thank this? You. Oh, that's an extraordinary thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my oh, gracious <laughs> me, it's a sharp, isn't it? Yeah. Come over here and have a look Which, at this. Yes, I see this one. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, I say, I am so sorry. Well, you have put your foot in it now. I certainly have. Good gracious me. Yeah, that'll never come off, will it? Have you got a handkerchief? No, I haven't. Oh, I must get that off. It's an awful mess. Old boots spoiled, isn't it? Never mind. You'll keep the insects off you. Forget it. Yes, Come and have a look at my vegetables. What? I've got peas, beans, carrots, lettuces here. Where? Here. Huh? Here? Yeah. Oh, but there's only the seeds. Yes. Yeah. Well, aren't you going to plant them? Yes, in due course, but I don't plant them until the middle of March, you know. Oh, March. Oh, good gracious, I've planted mine already. <laughs> you <laughs> would. Oh, but you're in too big a hurry. What have you got it? The, well, I've forgotten. They're all the things that you told me to get. Well, where are the packets? The, what packets? Well, where are you going to the packets you took the seeds out of? Oh, you didn't take them out of the packets. Good gracious, in case I lost it. Uh, I was very particular about that. Oh, that's no good gardening like that. Look here, you must work properly. Now, look here, I've got a plan here for you. Oh. Now, this plan shows you just when to plant things, how far apart, and all the other information you want. I see. If you'll take that and follow it carefully, you'll get more out of your garden, and you'll always have fresh vegetables for your dinner. That's funny. I was going to have vegetable soup last night for dinner. Only Mrs. Gibson was out, and I couldn't find the frying pan, so I bought some chocolate. <laughs> Frying pan, my dear boy, it's no use growing nice vegetables if you don't know how to cook them. Oh, Mrs. Gibson's the cook. Good gracious, he's marvellous at it. Yes, her speciality, speciality's been soup, you know. Yes, I should think it would be. Very nourishing, too. But you know, Claude, before you can make bean soup, you've got to get the bean. And what I'm trying to impress on you is that it's not at all difficult to grow good beans and other vegetables. And just think, if everybody who had a garden grew enough to feed themselves, look what a tremendous difference it would make. Thousands of tons of good food. And fine exercise for you, too. There's nothing like gardening, you know, to keep you fit and keep you out of mischief, too. Why, bless me, I shouldn't be surprised at the way you started if, before you're much older, you take on an allotment as well. No, neither should I, because there's no knowing what I shall do before I've finished, you know. <laughs> my word. Well, I've been wondering, what do you keep in these boxes up here? That's where I sow my seeds. Seeds? Yes. Good gracious, can I have a look? Yes, do. Oh, well, I... <laughs> that's uh, very really interesting. Are those seeds? Oh, no, that's not seeds, that's a box of soot. These are the seeds. <laughs> Oh, Claude, I'm so sorry. You hurt yourself. No, no, it's, it's quite all right. Something seemed to come over all black for a moment. 
Hey, <laughs> lucky the box isn't broken, isn't it? <laughs> Might have been a nasty accident. My word. It yeah. might. I say, look here, take my handkerchief. Yeah. Oh, thanks very much. Yes, that's just the thing, isn't it? Yes, that'll get it off all right. My word. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Claude, you're hopeless. Now what are you going to do? Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> ¶¶ 